everyone! In today's video, I'm going to share with you the importance of sunscreen, why you must include sunscreen in your skincare routine, how to apply sunscreen, in what order to apply your sunscreen, how to layer it on top of your makeup, and also how to remove your sunscreen at the end of the day. And so a lot of people are still not applying sunscreens and some of these people also want good skin. Good skin and not applying sunscreen don't go hand in hand. If you want good skin, you need to apply sunscreen. And no matter how good your skincare routine is, how expensive or you know how many products you use, nothing is going to work if you're going to skip your sunscreen. Because as soon as you step out without your sunscreen, the sun is going to reverse all your skincare effects because of the UV rays. So there are two types of UV rays, UVA and UVB. So UVA you can consider as UVA. Aging. So UVA is responsible for aging. You know the A stands for aging. It doesn't really stand for aging but uh, it's easier to remember that way. So if you're going to skip sunscreen, your skin is going to age faster. You're going to get wrinkles, you're going to get dark spots, hyperpigmentation, acne and a lot of skin problems. Whereas UVB rays are responsible for sunburn. Now usually our Indian skin is not very prone to sunburn because we do get tanned and our skin is brown. So it's pretty strong strong compared to white skin so we don't really get sunburn easily of course those with sensitive skin types they might get sunburn i'm not talking for everyone but i personally don't get a skin burn really easily i do get tanned so uvb rays are responsible for burn and a lot of people believe that you should apply sunscreen only in the summers or when it's not cloudy and it is not true okay so the uva rays are always present even in winter even when it's cloudy even when it's raining and you cannot really see the sun rays UVA rays are always present which are going to make your skin burst. Whereas UVB rays are much lesser in concentration when it's cloudy or during winter time. So the chances of getting skin burn are lesser but UV rays are going to be there always. So you must apply sunscreen no matter what the weather looks like. And especially if you spend a lot of time in taking care of your skin, if you have a good skincare routine, you don't really want to waste it, right? Please start including a sunscreen if you're not using one already. And also if you're using active ingredients like AHAs, BHAs, retinols, these ingredients are going to make your skin photosensitive. So if you're using these ingredients in your skincare routine and if you're not applying a sunscreen, it's going to make your skin worse because it increases your photosensitivity. So if you want to use these ingredients, you have to apply a sunscreen. If you cannot commit to using a sunscreen, please don't use active ingredients because you might be harming your skin that way. So now that you know why you must apply a sunscreen, let's talk about the types of sunscreen. So there are two types of sunscreens, chemical and physical. I've explained this in a lot of skincare related videos of mine. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, I'll explain it again. So chemical sunscreens are basically the type of sunscreens which get absorbed by your skin and it also absorbs the UV rays and it converts it into heat and releases it. That's how your skin gets protected from the UV rays. Whereas physical sunscreens protect your skin physically that is it actually is a layer on top of your skin and it just blocks the sun rays directly affecting your skin so physical sunscreens don't get absorbed by your skin it just sits there like a nice layer so you can use whatever type of sunscreen depending on your skin and whatever you prefer to use both the sunscreens has its own pros and cons so chemical sunscreens are really easy to use because they get absorbed by your skin so it just feels like a skincare product and it's just easy to use basically and it does not leave a white cast but if it doesn't suit your skin it can give you acne if you have acne prone skin and it also can be irritating to those with sensitive skin whereas physical sunscreens do not irritate your skin are perfect for babies even babies can use it it's not going to give you acne but they leave a white cast so if you're okay with the white cast you can go with physical sunscreen so i'll also list all my favorite sunscreens in the description box below i've been currently using the sunscreen by bioderma they recently sent it to me i'll show the application in some Time. So now that you know the types of sunscreens, you should also check the rating of the sunscreen. So if it has PA rating, so the more plus signs, the more PA rating it has. So you must have seen PA plus, PA plus plus, PA plus 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 on sunscreens, right? So that basically is its efficacy in providing protection against UV A rays, whereas the SPF rating indicates a protection against UV B rays. And if the sunscreen says it's broad spectrum, that means it protects against UV A rays as well as UV B. Rays. easy right i'll also mention when to use the sunscreen so if you're going to be stepping out even if you're going to your office and you travel by public transport where you are exposed to sunlight 
you must apply sunscreen at least 15 minutes before stepping out if you're working from home but if you have a huge window near you where you're again exposed to sunlight you again must apply sunscreen i personally don't apply sunscreen when i'm at home because i just close my curtains so that no sun rays are coming in uh, so in that case i don't really use the sunscreen i hope i convinced you to start wearing a sunscreen if you're not wearing a sunscreen i'll tell you my story so before the lockdown when i went to office regularly i never skipped my sunscreen i was very religious with it and i was having the best skin trust me if you watch my older videos my skin was much much better but since the lockdown since i'm at home the whole day i'm not used to wearing sunscreen anymore so even when i'm going out for like 10 minutes just to buy vegetables i forget to apply sunscreen don't tell anyone so due to that i'm getting more dark spots compared to when i did wear a sunscreen every day so yes i'm telling with experience please please do not skip your sunscreen if you want to have a good skin if you don't really care about your skin then you go ahead skip your sunscreen don't listen to me so now i'll show you how i do my skincare routine and then apply a sunscreen and how i apply makeup on top of it so before applying sunscreen i just like to do my regular skincare routine so i just apply a toner first dab it gently and then i use my niacinamide serum lightly spread it and dab whenever i'm going to apply sunscreen i skip my moisturizer if the sunscreen is enough to provide the moisturization if you have extremely oily skin or if it's really humid during summer monsoon you can skip a moisturizer and directly apply a sunscreen if your sunscreen is moisturizing most sunscreens do have emollient so they are going to moisturize your skin uh, but in winters when my skin is really dry that time i do apply a moisturizer first and then go in with sunscreen do not apply moisturizer after sunscreen whatever skincare steps you are doing toner serum whatever you apply do it before the sunscreen and the final step should be your sunscreen and then makeup so the sunscreen i'm using today is by bioderma it's called the photoderm max spf 50 plus sunscreen or they recently sent it to me and i've been really enjoying it and i really like the texture of this as well and it also says invisible texture which i agree and also water resistant so i'll just show you the application now you need to be very generous with your sunscreen a little bit is not enough it's not going to protect your skin so i take about this much sunscreen and uh, first dot it if you're not used to applying a lot of sunscreen please start doing it if you're finding it difficult you apply a little bit of sunscreen like this first spread it and then go in with another layer that's just easier even for me i do that first i just spread it instead of directly applying a lot of it and then it gets difficult to blend out i agree uh, so i just like to go in with two layers so when you first spread it, it does give a little bit white cast but it does disappear after some time and I gently spread it because I don't want to remove it and the fact that it gives a white cast is actually easier to know which parts you're missing like here I cannot see any white cast so I would apply more there so it actually gets easier but the white cast disappears after some time so this is my second layer and also don't forget your neck I almost forgot to apply it on my neck apply under your eyes as well you can also apply on your lips to protect them so this is how my skin looks like after applying the sunscreen the white cast is disappearing with time and if you want to apply makeup after this just wait a few seconds till it absorbs properly and now let's start with the makeup i'm going to keep my makeup very very simple because it's really hot and humid so i'll just apply some concealer on my spots little bit under my eyes as well and i'm just going to slightly dab it you can also use a BB cream or something. You can use anything which you want. You can do your regular makeup. You don't have to follow the exact same steps. So this is what I like to do most of the times. I don't really reach out to foundation a lot when I'm not filming a video. So most of the times I just end up doing this. I'm just using my regular products, nothing new. I'll mention all the products I'm using in the video in the description box below. And then I just take some loose powder and apply it wherever I applied my concealer. I prefer loose powder for setting my under eyes. I usually am not a compact powder person. I like to keep my face uh, really dewy. But since it's really hot these days and my T-zone especially, it gets really oily. And instead of looking dewy, I just look like the person who has never washed her face. 
amusing or combat because it also provides a bit of coverage. The loose powder which I used was translucent and also to touch up your makeup, compact is the best. Now I'll just quickly fill in my eyebrows. This is a tinted brow mascara. It just gets really quick to use. And also a little bit of blush for some color on the face. Not using a bronzer today. I love blushes. I'm also applying a little bit on my eyelids. I love such nude shades, you know, warm nude shades. So yeah, that's it for the makeup. I still have little dewiness because of the sunscreen. The sunscreen is moisturizing as well. Uh, but I also have a little bit compact on top so that it's not super oily and it's set properly. Did you like this minimal quick makeup look? I have been really enjoying such makeup looks lately. I mean, we barely put any efforts in. But it still looks pretty good. I've been enjoying this sunscreen a lot lately. I love the consistency of it. It's really smooth and it's very moisturizing as well. That's why I don't really need to apply a separate moisturizer. It provides protection against both UVA and UVB rays. And it has been raved by a lot of bloggers. I have read about this sunscreen a lot. And it's also non comedogenic So you don't really have to worry about it clogging your pores and giving acne. Also, it's a combination of both chemical and physical sunscreen. It did not clog my pores, it didn't give me acne, none of that stuff. If you're removing your sunscreen properly at the end of the day, you don't really have to worry about that. Overall, this is a very good sunscreen. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a good sunscreen which does not give you a white cast. Uh, while applying it, definitely it does look white but it does disappear completely. And it's also fragrance and paraben free which is great. On the website, it also says that sensitive skin type can use it and also babies or children can use it. And and also oily and acne prone skin can use it, dry skin can use it, hyperpigmented skin can use it and if you're getting high and trust me if you're getting hyperpigmentation spots and you don't know why and if you're not wearing a sunscreen it's most probably because of UV rays so please please start wearing a sunscreen it is also important to reapply your sunscreen if you're in the sun the whole day so if you're going on a picnic or if you're traveling the whole day and you're exposed to sun continuously then you must reapply your sunscreen every two hours whenever i'm traveling uh, like whenever i go to mumbai by car i do reapply my sunscreen every two hours but while traveling i don't really apply makeup so it's very easy to reapply sunscreen i can just apply it like usual but if you do wear makeup and if you want to reapply your sunscreen you have to be a bit careful it can be tricky to work with so if you have any sunscreen with thicker formula which is easier to apply use that or you can also use sunscreen with powder formulations so that it's easier to lay on top of your skin if you're not wearing a lot of makeup and you don't mind doing your makeup again then you can just remove your makeup apply sunscreen and apply the makeup back if you don't mind doing that but if you don't want to remove your makeup i'll just show you how you can reapply sunscreen on top of your makeup you can take a little bit of sunscreen on a cushion and then gently dab it don't sweep it across because that will remove your makeup so just gently dab it on top of your skin you can also use your fingers but i find using a cushion much easier because if you're applying it with your fingers it can be a bit tricky and uh, my makeup did come off a little bit so i'll just take my compact after applying my sunscreen and just apply it on top of it and also if my blush is going off i'll just apply a little bit of blush Honestly, I'm not used to reapplying my sunscreen over makeup because whenever I'm traveling, I just don't wear makeup. And uh, when I'm wearing makeup, I'm always at home. And also, if you think your makeup has SPF and that is enough, trust me, it's not. Because whatever concentration of sunscreen your makeup has and the amount of makeup you apply, there's no way you're getting enough sunscreen. And unless you apply a lot of makeup, like 30 gram of makeup on top of your face which no one does you're not getting enough sun protection but makeup with SPF can be great uh, for adding extra protection on top of your skin so now that we have learned about sunscreens it's also important to take off your sunscreen at the end of the day so just like we remove our makeup at the end of the day it's very very important to remove your sunscreen as well because it can clog your pores if you sleep with your sunscreen on and you don't really want unnecessary clogging of pores and acne and any 
any skin issues right so please remove your sunscreen and a regular face wash is not enough to remove your sunscreen you have to double cleanse to remove it completely so you can use a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil or micellar water or a makeup remover so these remove your makeup as well as well as sunscreen so that would be your first step and your second step would be to use your regular cleanser it can be a foaming cleanser so that the oil residue from the first step is gone and also whatever impurities are left even they are gone and your skin is completely clean i personally prefer using a cleansing balm because it really melts off the makeup and sunscreen really well and it's just very satisfying for me to use so i just take my cleansing balm and i apply it and it just melts the makeup so effortlessly and it also melts off the sunscreen and then i wash my face with water and then i use my regular cleanser if you do not have any cleansing balm or micellar water or cleansing oil or any makeup remover and if you have a good cleanser at home i use it twice so your first step would be using your cleanser and please clean really well okay do not miss any spot on your face wash your face and then again use the same cleanser so using it twice that is only if you do not have a first step cleanser at home so that was it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up 